so we have uh, Jennifer here. Jennifer, we've been working on for some time, and uh, she's in another video. And uh, if you're watching this, we please ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We always, I always forget to mention that, but it's important because a lot of people like Jennifer are out there and sometimes they're suffering from drop foot. That's what we're going to be talking about with her is she has a drop foot situation. And as you can see, she's not an elderly lady. She's fairly young and uh, very concerned when she came in, right? Because yep. you had this drop foot and she's pretty active uh, and just did, was, I think, very afraid of having a life of this kind of weakness that can kind of be a haunting, horrifying, horrifying thing to have and she actually had an injury uh which i don't think we need to go into too much but just had an injury came in and i think was kind of chopping around right yeah and just i mean maybe talk a little bit about what how did you come in and what drove you to come in and see us um i realized i had dropped foot it wasn't right. sure who to go to so i okay. looked on the internet you were highly recommended okay came in, mm -hmm. um for a while could not move my foot at all and okay now, three months out i'm walking and moving my toes and, and and you were smart because you got in because some people sometimes when they're told they have drop foot they wait mm -hmm. see if it gets better and by the time we see them it could be seriously a year or two or three out yeah and it's not that we can't still help them but it may be the percentage of improvement may not be as much so what we're doing with her what we did with her we, we did surgery we opened up two nerve tunnels i'm going to scan down here to her legs and these are little incisions they, uh, these are incisions that have sutures underneath the skin. Uh, and so this is kind of the main nerve uh, tunnel area we were concerned about. This is the common perineal nerve. It's a branch of the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve's back here. And right above the knee, the sciatic nerve splits. And one branch goes this way, and the other branch goes down the back of the calf to the bottom of the foot. But this branch, called the common perineal nerve, or in some cases they'll call it the common fibular nerve, it pretty much supplies all the muscles in the upper leg up in this area that move the toes up and the ankle up and the foot sideways. So she had quite a bit of uh, weakness. She couldn't move up. I mean, you can see right now, I don't think we have a, a video before showing her very much, but she can move it up, do that again, move. All the muscles are functioning really well. The only one that has a slight amount of weakness is this one, but all the others push up against my hand very good strength now and uh the other part of our story we did another treatment called electrical stimulation we did that for a little while a few weeks yeah. and right now she says probably a third of what's got her better was the east Yep. but we, she's progressing but not significantly so we then did the surgery and the surgery price amounts to two thirds two thirds, yeah. two -thirds of it so uh anything else you want to add you're good happy. okay <laughs> she's yep. happy with it <laughs> yeah and yes it seems very happy and how was it after surgery do you have much pain not too much nope. not too much nope. okay it was, good. i think harder sitting and not doing anything then <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> yeah <laughs> so. so yeah the, the good point because the pain the pain of these surgeries isn't that significant no, and, and you're able to walk right away yep. correct okay yep. excellent how fast did you could you tell you're better how long um, was it within a day within a day yeah that quick yeah okay that's exciting stuff. Yep. So, so anyway, hopefully uh, you've learned a few things for those of you listening. And uh, again, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate any comments or questions that you have. And again, Jennifer, we thank you for taking the time okay. to do this. I know it's not easy <laughs> sometimes for people to do testimonials, yep. but it's very, very helpful because a lot of people find out about us that way. And, and really, there's so much sometimes that we're doing that people just aren't aware of. And it's through this educational process that uh, people can learn yep. and I think it's good for them to know. So thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm.